Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're great. So I just wanted to drop by and just drop this because I know it's been a holiday. It's been a while, yeah, but I know a few moms out there are thinking to themselves like, oh my gosh, I need this summer holiday to be over. <laughs> but the truth is, I just wanted to share my top tip about how you can still be productive, even though it's the holidays with the kids, without having all those things going through your head. So first of all, I would say you have to plan. You know, you have to get a diary and you need a lot of Jesus. <laughs> But you need to get a diary, first of all, because if you don't know exactly what you need to do, you're going to be all over the place. But if you can decide one thing, what is the one thing or the two things I can do today that will massively make me productive? You know, because the issue is a lot of people are running around not sure exactly what they need to achieve today. So with the holidays, it's really, really hard, you know, because the kids, especially if you have the kind of age that I have, that are constantly full of energy, not listening, always in your face, like you can't even use the restroom by yourself. You need to be smart. Because some of us, yes, work from home, some of us work on the go, but some of us actually need to be productive. So, like, when it comes to life, your business doesn't understand that you've got kids and you can't actually use them as an excuse because there are mothers like you out there crushing it, doing the exact same thing. So my first tip is going to be you need to get a diary and then you have, you have to have a to-do list and then have a diary. So what exactly am I going to do today? Because let me tell you one thing that tends to happen. A lot of us go through this saying, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed. You know, I'm a mom. Um, I want to spend time with my kids because it's holiday. I don't want to feel bad because I'm working while I'm supposed to be spending time with them. Now, this is something that I struggled with because, you know, I work hard. I don't call myself a workaholic, but I work hard and I have fun. So I've realized that what success means to me is to be able to work my business, to be successful, but also to spend time with my kids. So what I started to do is I write down my to-do list. What is the one thing I can do today? That if I go to bed, I would not be feeling guilty or feeling bad that I haven't touched my business. So when I wake up in the morning, I have those things planned into my diary. Now you're going to decide, are you a morning person or you're a night owl? I'm a morning person. So what I would do is I typically, almost everyone knows what time their kids get up. Some days is different, but predominantly when we're back home and we're in a, like a proper routine, I know what time they get up. So what I would do is I would get up an hour earlier and I'll put in the work. Because if I get to do that, when they're awake, I'm not snapping at them. I'm not angry because I haven't been able to do my work. Because I know I've done the work for the get up. And when they get up, I put away the mom guilt, the, mom, the guilt of not saying I'm not working my business. Or trying to work my business when they're there. I'm going to be distracted. I might not get the best. But if you do what I do, I do power hours. So it can be a focused 30 minutes. It can be focused one hour. When I'm not distracted by scrolling Instagram or scrolling Facebook or trying to message or chat or look at people's pictures, I'm focused on my business. I'm focused on that, trying to get through to that thing I want to do in my business. Everything else waits. I don't, I don't wake up and start trying to cook breakfast. No, I'm doing an hour in my business. So when my kids wake up, it's okay to be doing breakfast while they're awake. You don't need um, the quiet when you're cooking. You can also be at night. So if you're a night owl, you try and get your kids into bed. Now, my kids typically go to bed at 8 o'clock when it wasn't holiday and everybody wasn't running around the place. Get them into a time that can allow you, give you time for you to be able to do what? Put in that work. It can be 30 minutes, it can be an hour. And then you do those things that are more like paperwork and filing, things that do not need like mind, brain. You don't need to be focused. It can be writing out things in your journal. It can be filing paperwork away for your business or printing receipts or whatever it is that you can do while they are awake. It wouldn't affect you, but you can do it while they're awake and you can keep sh screaming. Like all moms, that's the same thing we do. Like, shut up, calm down. No, drink, do this, eat your food. I can be doing that, my printing and my filing, my documentation while I'm yelling at them. That's fine. I can still do that. So don't use the ex excuse of your children on holiday why you're not protecting your business. Maybe when they get back to school, you can tend to do more. But trust me, I found out that when you have less time, you tend to do more. So what I've decided to do is I put a to-do list. What is the one thing I will do tomorrow so I can say, oh, I really work my business. I'm very excited. Second of all, I put it in my diary. And then, Sona, one second. Please just go. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I just told you. I just said, I yeah, see, that's typical things about my life. But then, see, just enjoy it. You know, I've stopped. Before, I used to try and be perfect, separate my kids away from my business, make my videos to be perfect. But you know what? I don't give a damn. So right now is what is important to me. And then when you need to work, if you really maybe need to do some client calls or some coaching calls, or you need to do some marketing, you need to speak to a customer at a point where your kids are awake, you need to speak to them. First of all, mommy needs 20 minutes of no noise. Mommy needs 20 minutes and I get back to giving you attention. Because the truth is when these kids sit with you five minutes, they're bored of you. So if you can negotiate with them, put away the time when you need to work and work and then put away the time you need to spend with them. So nobody's feeling guilty and nobody's feeling like deprived. 
and then every single day it is better for you to put in 30 minutes of focus time into your business than trying to do two hours that you've never achieved and then you feel guilty and the next day you're like why do i even need to try because i will never even be able to achieve it so i'm hoping that somebody out there this can be able to help you to get through the rest of the holiday you can still be productive in your business you can bring money some money in into your business and then you can have the best time with your children because the truth is they're only young ones you know you want to spend time with them but remember when you're working, don't feel guilty because if you don't work and put in the bacon, they're not going to have money to go and have the treats and the ice creams and go to the fun places and do the travels and then go back to school to pay their school fees. So you need to just get that balance. And you know when they say work-life balance is an amazing thing, but it almost doesn't exist. So you need to find your own balance. You need to find what is your own success. I found what makes, what makes me happy is the fact that I get to do my business and be able to spend time with my kids. It might not be as I want it all the time, but I make sure that every single day I work my business do one thing that I can give my kids and say, I put in this hour into my business today. And I also know me being a Christian is not just about your own effort. It's about God blessing that effort. So do your best and leave the rest to God. Okay, so I hope this has made sense to you. If you have any comments, comment below. Let me know if this kind of gave you value. And if you wanted to add in another tip that somebody else can benefit from, do let me know. And that's it. Have a good day. Have a lovely weekend ahead, guys. Ciao.